it guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video for today's video i am going to be trying out the beauty blender powder pocket puff <laughs> let's try saying that like three times fast powder pocket puff powder pocket puff, 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 puff. i saw this on tiktok okay that's usually where i get roped into buying things to try out for you guys but i saw a couple people use this on tiktok and they were just talking like incredible shit about this right and i have never ever 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 in my life used a powder puff to set my makeup to apply my makeup to do anything okay it's always been either brushes or sponges which honestly is pretty much what everybody uses nowadays so i went ahead and bought her because i really wanted to try her she looked really intriguing and I just want to see if she worth it or not. I know a lot of you guys have also seen this floating around all over the internet, like on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that. So I just want to see what's good with her, okay? Ooh, <laughs> she flipped over. So if you guys are ready to see my little first impressions and like, you know, demo on Miss Little Powder Pocket Pup, <laughs> just keep on watching hell. So let me give you a little bit of info on miss puff here i did get her from ulta okay this is called the power pocket puff duo sided powder puff <laughs> oh my god so many <laughs> this does retail for 15 dollars. she is by beauty blender okay so the exact same brand that makes the original beauty blender sponge the beauty blender what is it that foundation that everybody's using that i also really want to try um so yeah that's that's where she originated from. The summary says, Beauty Blender Power Pocket Puff. Dual-sided powder puff is a double-sided next generation cosmetic puff that helps to both apply and touch up powder formulas so makeup looks flawless. Ooh, okay, okay. To use it, you deposit powder with the plush pink side to set and bake, reblend and retouch using the tan buff side, target contour of the face with the narrow tip, insert fingers into the pocket for further precision, use the finger band for all over application, please hand wash only, okay? So I did only see one other video, okay, before I'm making this one. And um, the girl in the video said that you literally just wash this the exact same way that you would wash like a beauty sponge. Um, so that's lit. Crazy. Okay, so this is the front. This is the back. She has like the instructions back here. I will never be able to see that. So I just had to read it from my phone. Um, so let's go ahead and open her up and let's see what the dealio is here. Okay, I'm, I'm excited. Okay, I can't open it. Oh, okay. That's not what I thought it would feel like. Okay, okay, so you bake with this side, so you apply the powder with this side, and then with this side, you can retouch up your makeup, okay? Cute, cute! Um, she does have the little band here, and you can flip it over to the other side, so back and forth, and it does have the little, like, pocket for your fingers in here. But I definitely think this little tip is going to be awesome for baking. Okay, how fucking weird. It feels very, very soft. Okay, I do just wanna say both sides. This side feels more like of a regular, you know, triangle, like makeup triangle that, you know, makeup artists use and stuff like that on clients. Um, so that's kind of what this side feels like, but it won't like rip just because like it's like nice and thick. And then this side just feels like super soft and just like cushiony. How fucking crazy. Okay, let me go ahead and cut my hair back. Yeah, I've been dying to use this. My friend gave me this and I've just been like dying to use her. Isn't she just like, did I put it on upside down? I sure the fuck did. <laughs> I've been like dying to use this headband. I think it's just to like wash your face and shit like that, but like, bitch, nobody tells me what to do, okay? <laughs> Y'all tell me I don't look fucking adorable, okay? Bitch, suck it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a full face of makeup, okay? I don't think I'm gonna go like super crazy, super glam, but I'm definitely gonna do the whole, you know, primer, powder, foundation, blase, blase, blase. So we can see, 
was really good, okay? So I'm gonna apply my primer. Okay, this is the e.l.f. like mint melt or some shit like that. Um, I'm just gonna apply a pump of this on my sponge and apply it to the face. My sister, you guys, is at the age where she, you know, wants to start playing with makeup and um, is just like super intrigued by everything. <laughs> And when we went to Ulta, the day that I got the powder puff, she was just like so intrigued and so amazed at like everything, you know? And typically with her, we used to stick on like the, you know, drugstore side of Ulta just because like, you know, she was young and I didn't want her to grab something super expensive because she, she, you know, she likes to just play with shit, you know what I mean? And likes to like practice her eyeliner and stuff. And so I was like, girl, I'm not gonna get you an expensive ass eyeliner so that you can like practice. Like, no ma'am. <laughs> but um, we went on the high-end side of Ulta, you know? And she picked out um, a Run Beauty eyeliner, like a lip oil. I got a lip oil too, you guys. And it is bomb, okay? And she actually got a little Naked Basics palette because she told me that she wanted a little like eyeshadow palette. And so I was like, okay, cool, let's get you one. And um, like I said, typically we stick on the like drugstore side of the store, but nah, not that time. <laughs> Which is why we really fucked with my bank account, but that's okay. She was telling me, she's like, oh my God, now I understand why you have so much makeup. She's like, oh, this is so interesting and so intriguing. And I was like, I know, I know, that's how they get you. Primer is priming. And typically what I would do after this is set my primer with some type of powder. I had been using the Maybelline Fit Me, but the other day, you guys, I went in with um, my LA Girl Pro powder. That's literally what it's called. Um, and I set my entire face with this powder and it looked amazing under my makeup. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use Miss Puff here because... You can do that. <laughs> Let me go ahead and add some onto my lid. So I think I'm gonna stick my fingers in the little pocket and then just tap it on. Okay, we have, we have product. And then I'm just gonna go in and stamp it on. Cause this is what I would do with a like regular sponge. One thing that I'm already noticing off just straight application is that with like a sponge is typically what I would do this with. I feel like it kind of sometimes soaks up some of the powder. You guys know what I mean? And with this little pocket puff, no, it, it, it doesn't soak up shit. Like I would honestly have to go back in with like a little bit more powder on my lid just so I can get like my full face, but I don't think I'm gonna have to do that with this one. Y'all, and I can fit right between my eyebrows. That's usually a spot where I sometimes like avoid makeup and stuff because it's just hard to get in there, but okay. Wow. I told you guys that I have been using this powder to set my primer as of recently. I've done it a couple times and it just looks so pretty. And I don't know if it's the puff or if it's the powder, but that was really fucking good. I don't feel the need to like add more powder. That was like way more than enough. I'm just like dragging it down my neck now because there's there's still some on there you can get really nice in these little crevices around your mouth this little part right here is like what i'm most like impressed by right now the fact that i can get between my eyebrows because y'all that's insane okay okay this puff also, it doesn't say to wet this or anything, so I didn't wet it. Um, I don't know. I don't know how it would act wet. <laughs> look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, cute. 
okay. At first, I was a little skeptical about this, okay, because it just, I don't know, okay? People were saying that it like really like blurred out your like pores and just made your face look super smooth. Bitch, they weren't fucking kidding. Okay, they were not fucking kidding. I've literally just been doing this this whole entire time. Wow, you guys, I'm super, super fucking impressed. And I know you guys can see this on camera. Like this is fucking insane. It just really presses in the powder super nicely. It's like super soft. It like doesn't waste a single bit of powder. Okay, fine, 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 beauty blender, fine, you win, you win. <laughs> Let me go off camera and I'm gonna go do, you know, my foundation, contour, blush, all that jazz. And when it's time to bake, I'll come back, okay? So we can see how that works, okay? Y'all, okay. I had to come back real quick. You guys need to fucking see this. So for my foundation of choice today, I'm using my Tarte Skin Tint. Okay, this is by far the most like light coverage, you know, like foundation tint thing <laughs> that I own, okay? And I chose this one today, not for a specific reason, just because I'm just gonna chill at home today and you know, I didn't want something super heavy on my face. Y you guys, you guys, you guys, I just need you guys to fucking know that besides applying powder flawlessly, it really helps to fucking blur out your face because like I said, this is the most lightweight thing, like foundation thing that I own. And you guys, my skin looks flawless, flawless. You guys have to fucking run to get that puff, okay? I'm not even fucking kidding right now. This is amazing, amazing. Texture, where? Pores, bitch, where? This puff will literally cover up all your deepest, darkest demons, okay? She will cover them up. She will hide them. She will conceal them. She will make sure that nobody, nobody knows what you have done in the past. <laughs> you know, sometimes, we say, oh, it doesn't matter, you know, what brushes, what sponges you're using, like, as long as, like, you know, you have the skill or, like, what fucking not. But sometimes it really does depend on, like, the applicator and, you know, like, the products that you're using because I'm not, I'm not the best with makeup, okay? Like, I, I can pull through a little bit, okay? I've managed to, you know, practice and just get a little technique down and, you know, try a bunch of things out, but sometimes it really does have to do with the fucking applicators, okay? Because that is insane. Meet on my hoe. <laughs> I'll be back when it's time to bake. <laughs> Done blending out my concealer. I didn't want to apply any cream bronzer today or like contour anything. Just not feeling it today. But I did apply some cream blush. After this, I would set my under eyes with a pressed powder, okay? I would use the Maybelline Fit Me. So I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna use Miss Little Puff again. Oops. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Super amazing for under the eye. And like I said, this thing does not waste any product, okay? Like at all. Usually I would kind of have to like swirl my brush into my powder. No. I'm just gonna set everywhere where I put concealer. So I just typically put it around little crevices of my nose. Right here. And down your nose. What I'm really, really like liking is the fact that because you know you put the product on like the tip of the puff it really just disperses it right there because like if i did it with my sponge if i would do this and just press it in like this it would get powder 
not just under my eye but like down here and with this no bitch like wherever you're like tapping it is exactly where the powder is going to be like it's not going to come down here unless you want it to come down there it literally just stays exactly where you put it next i'm going to do a little bit of baking again this is exactly what i do just with a different applicator i don't know if you guys will be able to see that that's actually too much i'm gonna go ahead and just apply this look at that clean perfect i think i can actually do both under eyes with that same amount of powder look at that you can get really nice like right here on the sides of the nose i want to try to do a little bit of like a contour since cool since i didn't add any cream bronzer i would just kind of cut my cheeks with some powder to get the illusion <laughs> okay I see what all the hype was about. If I was perfect before this puff, with this puff, I am just like godsend. Okay. I'm gonna go and finish up applying the rest of my makeup just because I'm not gonna need to use the puff anymore. Um, I'm pretty much done with like my base makeup. I'm just gonna go do a little bit of eyeshadow and apply some bronzer and blush. And we'll be back for my final thoughts, although I'm sure you guys already know what they are. <laughs> I'm kind of sweating a little bit, excuse that. I had to take Zoqua out to potty. But anywho, so final thoughts, you guys, on Miss Little Puff here, okay? You guys, well worth the fucking money, okay? She is $15, but I definitely, definitely think she's worth it, okay? For show, for show. I absolutely love the way my makeup look it just came out so flawless I didn't add like super heavy products to like get this like airbrushed flawless look i really think this is the reason why my makeup looks the way it does i'm gonna go about my day you guys and i'm gonna come back in a couple of hours when it's you know about time for me to kind of touch up my makeup i don't like to touch up my makeup ever I just, it's, it's, I just, that's annoying to me. I hate touching up makeup. <laughs> but um, this this side is for touching up. And I do just want to give you guys like a full like, like review demo type of thing. So I do want to use this side just to see what it's like. Um, because the website said that this side was for touch ups. So far, so good. Obsessed. Love it so much. Hey guys. So it's a little bit later. 1.54. Okay, I put this makeup on at 8 a.m. I've had this makeup on for almost six hours, okay? And this is what I am looking like so far. Um, pretty good. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Translucent. Um, and I think I'm just gonna kind of go around the areas where I'm oily, which is on my nose for show right here on the forehead and just kind of like a little bit right here basically just my t-zone maybe a little bit on the chin but other than that like i think i look fine <laughs> we'll do it with this little elastic thing since i used the little finger pockets earlier so i'm just gonna dab some on here um same thing okay just on like the tip and um, I'm just gonna go in and, you know, I don't know, just reapply powder. <laughs> that looks incredible. Okay, now I see why people touch up their makeup. <laughs> it really does just kind of take away that like oily shine, but it still leaves just a very nice, like pretty layer on your skin so it doesn't look like you just did it with a brush because and that's pretty much the reason why i don't like to retouch up my makeup just because i don't want to look powdery okay i don't want to be out and about have to worry about like carrying a setting spray and like some type of sponge to like melt everything in but this is great i love this because you don't need anything else you just need these two things a little powder the little puff and you're ready to fucking go if you have like long days um and you need you know something that's gonna be compact and it's gonna blot away the oil but keep your makeup nice and like 
set. This is nice. This is really, really nice. One thing I will say though, is that I'm not like dragging down or anything. I'm literally just patting. That's all I'm doing. Now I'm ready to go. I literally haven't changed. Wearing the same go fuck yourself shirt. <laughs> I told you I wasn't leaving my house today. I didn't have anything to do outside of my house today. So I've just been here, been doing some work. I've been, um, you know, outside sweating cause it's fucking hot still. And you know, I gotta go outside with Zoku, but this looks fabulous. Like highly would recommend Little Puff here, okay? One thing I do wanna try real quick is you hand wash it. So the way I hand wash my sponges is just with Dawn dish soap. I literally put a little bit of that, some warm water and just like rinse it out till there's like no more product and dry it with like a clean napkin and it's like, good to go. So I'm gonna go do that real quick just to see how well and like clean we can get it. So this is this side and this is this side. So definitely dirty. So let me go do that real quick and then we'll see how well it cleans. This is the pink side, okay? And then this is the little white side. Um, It's obviously still damp. I think it cleaned pretty well, Um, even with like sponges and stuff like that, like they get stained a little bit, you know, over time, over using it and stuff like that. But I think for like the first wash, it held up very nicely. It didn't like break apart or anything like that. I just realized this has beauty blender on the little, <laughs> on the little freaking thing. I will say I did like to use the like finger pocket a little bit more than this little thing. I just felt like I could get like a better control. This has been one of my favorite products I've ever tried on my channel. But yeah, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I just wanted to come back, touch up my makeup. I'm ready to go. I literally look so like good again. I don't look like oily or anything. I don't look powdery. I just look good. Ah, ah. <laughs> Let me know down below if you guys have tried little pocket powder puff and what you think about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and for being here. As always, I appreciate you more than you will ever begin to imagine. Don't forget to subscribe down below so that you guys don't miss any future videos from moi. Have an amazing rest of your day, a the best rest of your week. Don't forget to eat something. Make sure you drink some water, okay? Live it up, bitch. Fuck it up. And I will see you guys very, very soon for another video.